Hello, our football lovers. This is Inside Football. A reality show with our dear Georgina Rodriguez has just premiered on Netflix. Cristiano Ronaldo's sweetheart promoted a mini-series about herself for a long time and it finally came out. Let us know in the comments if you have already watched it. Well, if not, we did it for you and chose the most interesting moments that one definitely shouldn't be silent about. In this series, Georgina tried to show her life as it is. Family chores, life with Cristiano, trips around Europe in search of a dress for the Cannes Film Festival. You might think how this can be filmed for as many as six episodes. But Georgina and Cristiano managed to tell a lot of interesting things. Miss Rodriguez, for example, almost unveiled the girlfriend of Ronaldo Jr. and Cristiano answered questions about how much longer he's going to play football and when he's gonna marry Georgina. Well, is it interesting to know all these details? Then watch our video to the end. And before we start, we ask you to support us with a like and subscribe to the channel to be aware of all the most interesting things in the world of football. There is nothing phenomenal about me, but I'm lucky, Georgina says at the very beginning of the film. Indeed, luck goes hand in hand with a girl, it helped her even while meeting Cristiano. She had to stay for half an hour in the store and then he came. By the way, then Cristiano Jr. helped in this acquaintance. I saw a real handsome man, almost 2 meters tall, and was numb. He was with a child and friends. Junior stopped in front of me so politely and said hello. They began to tease him. The kid spoke to a pretty girl, Georgina says. Cristiano also told viewers a little about the beginning of their relationship. He didn't even seem to suspect that he would fall in love with Georgina so much. It was as if she was made for him. Although then they were from different worlds. Miss Rodriguez worked as a sales assistant and went to work on a regular bus. Many times he came to pick me up after work when my shift ended at 10 pm. Once he came by Bugatti. My colleagues went crazy, they didn't believe it. I came by bus and left by Bugatti, said Ronaldo's beloved. On their first trip together, Cristiano and Georgina went to Paris. Then Ronaldo had to play a spy. In order not to be recognized, he put on a wig, found the jacket several sizes larger, wore glasses, and thought that the paparazzi would not recognize him. Well, tell us, isn't it possible to see Cristiano in this man, is it? He seems to be a very poor master of disguise. The paparazzi still found Cristiano and Ja on a walk. And then there was a disaster at Disneyland. The lovers went on one of the rides and Cristiano's wick still flew off his head no matter how hard he tried to hold it. Naturally, the famous Portuguese was immediately recognized. Now they have a strong relationship and love each other, but of course, everything has its drawbacks. The girl blabbed out about one of them in the film. I couldn't stand two hours in the airport with Cristiano. I would go crazy. It's better to stay at home and not go anywhere, Georgina said, thanking fate for the fact that Ronaldo has his own private jet. In I Am Georgina, kids are running around the main character every now and then. Here, Rodriguez gives them a lesson, here she plays on vacation, and here has a call with Cristiano Jr. The son asks if it's possible to bring a girl home. Uh, stop? What? I have to look at her and give my approval. I'm gonna be the mother-in-law, says Georgina to Cristiano Jr. during the call. Turns out, Jr. already has girlfriends. Wow! Georgina, of course, is also shocked by this. The guy is only 11 and already calling the girl home. Georgina cannot stop thinking about her children for a moment. She even tries to pack her trips in one day. In the morning, she takes everyone to school, then flies in business and returns in the evening, so as not to leave children for a long time and look after them. Cristiano really likes what kind of mother Georgina turned out to be. You can be the best father in the world, but still, you can't do it without a woman like her, Ronaldo says with no hesitation. The girl also remembers her family. In the episode where she returns to the city where she spent all her childhood and youth, Georgina cannot hold back her tears. She used to look into the windows of beautiful restaurants and dreamed of visiting there someday, but now she can afford dinner anywhere in the world. At some point, Georgina even breaks into tears. Memories of the father are too difficult for her. 
Despite everything that was written about her dad in the press, he was allegedly involved in some crimes and even went to prison, Georgina was very shocked by his death a few years ago. When he died, my life changed. I know that it's him. He gives me light now, Rodriguez said. The day he died, she signed her first modeling contract and planned to have a big birthday party, but had to fly to Argentina for her dad's funeral. According to Georgina, she was not her father's favorite, but she has a lot of his character and personality. Let's move on to happier moments. Georgina is always surrounded by her friends, and the hottest topic in their conversations is when will Miss Rodriguez become Mrs. Aveiro? Friends constantly chuckle at Georgina about the fact that Cristiano still doesn't marry her. Oh, those wedding jokes. Ever since J.Lo released the song about the ring, they've been singing it to me all the time, Ja complains. In general, Miss Rodriguez is quite cool about the issue of the wedding. She believes that the celebration will change absolutely nothing in their lives. Cristiano and I have the most important thing, our children and the love that he gives me, Rodriguez said. Cristiano is a thousand percent sure that the wedding will take place. But when? When something clicks, he says. Not a particularly encouraging phrase. After all, it may never click. The couple is already raising four children together, with twins on the way. But there is still no click in Kriro's head. Although the film is called I Am Georgina, it shows a lot of Cristiano himself, his lifestyle and plans. And of course, there was a place for Cristianinho and his football talents. I would like him to become a footballer. He has all the skills for this. I don't want him to miss his chance. I believe that everyone has talent and skills. Some can make you rich, others can't. But talent is talent, Cristiano says about his son. In episodes 3 and 4, we see how Cristiano's family supports him at Euro. Rare footage got into the film. Cristianinho cries because of Portugal's elimination in the round of 16. Don't be upset, you have to support your father. You need to cheer him up. That's football, Georgina says to Junior. In one of the episodes, Cristiano lifted the veil of secrecy and announced that he plans to continue his career for several more seasons. Even on vacation, I keep myself in shape. I plan to play football for a few more years, Cristiano said. And we think this is great news. The film premiered on January 27th, Georgina's birthday, and Cristiano arranged a grand celebration for his love. The promotional show about Georgina appeared at the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Georgina celebrated her birthday having a view of this tower. Cristiano rented a beautiful room from which a gorgeous panorama of the city opens. This is how this exciting day ends. I can't find the words. Thank you. Thank you and thank you, Cristiano. You make me happier every day. Thank you, Dubai, for making us feel at home here. Thanks to everyone who worked to make this day so special. And thanks to everyone who's always there and rejoices in the happiness of me and my family. Love you with all my heart. Georgina wrote on her birthday. Well, now don't you have a desire to watch a film about Gina, do you? We haven't told even a small part of what happened there. So our channel recommends it you definitely won't waste your time. And that was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.